Matthias, welcome to town. Appreciate your time. Uh, I guess why was the Titans a good fit for you, and what do you think about your opportunity in, in Nashville? Yeah, I'm really excited for, uh, like you said, it's a new opportunity. Um, it's a new city, uh, and just it's in a winning organization. Uh, you know, I was in Indy for three years. We always had battles when I was there uh, against the Titans. Always had a lot of respects for the Titans and just, you know, what was brought to the table week in and week out, the character of the guys, the competitive nature of the guys. So now to come in, leaving New York, to come in and be a part of that, I'm really, really excited. Uh, playoff caliber team, and, you know, I'm just here to serve and do whatever I can to help the team. John Glennon. Hey, Matthias. Um, I know uh, you were pretty much uh, playing a lot of special teams the last uh, couple of years, but I wonder – you know, back in Indy, uh, when you were playing a lot of defensive snaps, you know, kind of what was your role there? And, and do you hope to see more defensive snaps instead of, you know, primarily special teams? Yeah, well, in Indy, you know, there's a lot of guys who were uh, injured at the time that I was playing a more significant role on defense. I was very grateful to be able to experience that, to contribute in that way. Uh, my one goal coming in is just to be trusted, to be trusted on special teams and, you know, work my way from there. But the big thing is, you know, I just want to come in and be trusted and, uh, you know, whatever doors open from that, I'm very available to, I'm excited about, but, uh, you know, you got to earn the respect, earn the trust. And so that's my mindset coming in. Terry. Uh, it's been a, a big time makeover of the defense this off season and especially in the secondary. How much do you view that as an opportunity to kind of show them what you can do and earn a role? Yeah, it's a huge opportunity, Terry. It's uh, it's rare that you get to come in and have an opportunity to contribute. But, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter unless I come in and, and handle my business. So I'm excited to get in the room. I'm excited to be back with Coach Booker. Uh, he was my coach all through college. So uh, it'll be great to be back in a room with him. And I'm really excited about meeting the guys and just, you know, iron sharpens iron. So they're going to push me. I'm going to push them. And, you know, Lord willing, we're just going to make a great run again. David Beauclair. Matthias, it's obviously a different sort of off season with the salary cap issues and whatnot. A lot of guys are going to have to wait till later, maybe even after the start of camp to get a contract done. How happy are you? How much does it help you to, to have gotten this thing done early here? It's a huge blessing. You know, I, I definitely don't take any of it for granted. Uh, you know, I didn't know how free agency was going to go, like you said, especially in a, in a strange year with the cap being different. So, to have an opportunity to be on not just a team, but a great team, a great organization is a blessing. And to, you know, go into OTAs, a part of a team is huge too. Because, uh, you know, if you get signed in camp, you're on the back end of the learning curve. So you got a lot of catching up to do. So I'm excited to be able to get in the playbook and see the installs more than once uh, going into camp. Emily. Hey, Matthias, uh, John Robinson and, and Mike Vrabel always talk about uh, they want to bring in guys who love ball and love football. Did, did they make that clear to you in this process? And then also, why do you love football? Absolutely. They made it very clear. Uh, every conversation I had has been, you know, we want guys who love football, who are making football the priority in their lives and are going all in in the pursuit of that. Uh, I love football for a lot of reasons. One, because it's an incredible platform to have a positive influence. To it's an incredible challenge personally to get up every day and go compete against the best in the world. And then three, it's just a, it's been an amazing uh, way to take care of my family, to take care of my parents, to take care of my wife. Uh, so none of that I take for granted. And uh, I'm really excited to be a part of an organization where that's really preached and put into practice as well. Jim Wyatt. And, and Matthias, correct me if I'm wrong, but you spent some time in Indy with Danico Autry. What is he like as a teammate, and uh, what do you think he'll bring to the Titans? And how excited are you to play with him again? I'm really excited to play with Danico. He came uh, in my second year there, and he's just – he's got a super high motor, high character guy. Uh, you know, he, he demands a lot from those around him. Uh, he's an energy guy. He makes big plays, but he's super humble. And I think, uh, you know, just – being around a guy like that is inspiring, and I, I'm really excited to be his teammate again. And you, and you were a special teams captain in, with the Jets. Uh, how much pride do you take in, in the leadership standpoint and kind of set the tone in the locker room, and, and how do you go about doing that uh, on a new team when you're trying to find your way? 
and I was honored to be a captain. It's never something I thought that would be in the cards for me, if I'm being completely honest. I think before you do anything, as far as leading goes, you have to serve. So that's my mindset. It's always been my mindset. See where I can serve, how I can serve, who I can help, how, if I can be an encouragement, if I can be a listening ear. Uh, I try to play at a high level. I try to give max effort in all things I do. How you show up to anything is how you're going to show up to everything. So I try to put my best foot forward and just be somebody that guys can talk to somebody that's encouraging those around me. But, you know, my mindset has always been and always will be just to be a servant of the the men in that locker room, the community, and, uh, you know, everyone really just just to be a servant is, is really my mindset. Emily? Yeah, you mentioned uh, your family. You have a very uh, interesting upbringing. I know your your brother was profiled in the New York Times, the, the ballet dancer, and he's just one of, of many siblings that you have. How have, how have they shaped you? Uh, well, being the, I'm the sixth of seven. I have four brothers, Time and Nathan, Keenan and Silas, two sisters, Karis and Joy. My parents, Mark and Felinda, are absolutely wonderful. Uh, we grew up very humbly. We grew up with not a lot of connection with our extended family, so it was really uh, just us and the encouragement that they've been in my life, the support that they've been in my life is the reason I'm here, no doubt about it. Um, you know, it's awesome to be back in Charlotte right now, just to get to love on them, spend time with them. I've been away for really almost a decade. So uh, to spend this off season with my family has been, has been huge and just, you know, reconnecting those relationships. We're all super real, <laughs> super real. Uh, we are all real, but we're all still super close. And, uh, that's something that's really special as we've all gotten older to still have that closeness and the support of each of my siblings means the world to me. Harry? Matthias, you played, uh, you mentioned as you signed here that it was important for you to, uh, you were happy to be on a team that's got made the playoffs last year. How important was that factoring into your decision to find a team that has deep playoff aspirations after being with the Jets for a couple of years and them in a rebuilding mode? It's huge. You know, I'm in going into my sixth year and to, to be on a team that not only has gone to the playoffs, but is, is, is built to go to the playoffs. I think uh, it's super, super exciting. Um, it's only going to make me a better player being around that caliber of not just teammates, but organization when people really, really uh, are bought in and are excited and have seen it, you know, have gone to the playoffs, have seen the work it takes, have seen the sacrifice it makes uh, that everybody has to make in order to get there. I'm, I'm really excited to come alongside and serve and be a part of that. David Beauclair. Matthias, you mentioned your relationship with Scott Booker. How, how important to have a guy who knows you like that, not only on the staff, but will be working with you directly when you come to a new team? Yeah, I'm really excited for Coach Booker. You know, we uh, when I got to Notre Dame, he was the assistant receivers coach. I was wide receiver. And uh, to see his growth just throughout the college process, he, you know, was all the way to the special teams coordinator by the time uh, my time there was over. So uh, I'm really excited to be reconnected with him excited to you know be coached under him again I really feel like I gleaned and learned a lot of information just about the game of football about life from him in college so I'm sure he's even a better coach than he was then I think he was a phenomenal coach then so to, to be under his tutelage again I'm really excited about he a guy who's who's hard on guys typically or is, does he love on you more what, what kind of coach is he in college he was a, he was a coach that he's going to tell you how it is uh there's a lot of love um he's honest and I really respect that a lot as a player I think all you want is honesty you know whether you did good whether you did bad you know but have a coach that's going to come alongside you tell you where you can improve tell you what you did that you know wasn't right but still love you in the process I mean I think he exemplifies that and I'm, I'm really excited to to learn from him again Jim Wyatt and Matthias, you, you've mentioned you've used you've, you've used the word servant several times here, both in the locker room and maybe in the community. How important is the giving back process? And is that something you plan to do in Nashville as you establish yourself here? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, uh, you know, being in the NFL, we all have a platform. We all have different levels of gifts and talents and favor and all of those things. But using the platform we have to have a positive influence not just the people that we're around every day, but the people within the community of Nashville and around Nashville uh, is near and dear to my heart. Growing up, I was on the receiving end 
a, a player coming from the Panthers to, to read to my elementary school and that had a huge impact on me. So now to be on the other side of it and realize just by showing up, by being kind, uh, by being, you know, authentic, you, I can have a positive influence on, uh, you know, someone younger than me, just like someone older than me when I was younger did the same. It's, it's super humbling and I take it very seriously and I, I'm excited to get involved uh, in the community as well as in the locker room. And I think if you if you do a Google search on you, you've got the long hair, you've got a long beard, and other <laughs> yeah, no more, yeah. <laughs> is this your is this your Nashville look, and how's that kind of evolved? Uh well, the hair. Honestly, I had no choice in. I was going to be bald from the time I was born, thanks to my father. So I just kind of jumped the gun with the hair and just shaved it before it was too bad. And then. Uh, my wife and I, we got married in November uh, due to COVID. Our families weren't there. So we did a, a wedding celebration uh, with our families last week at the beach. I, I had a beard in the uh, original wedding pictures we had. So I just went clean shaven for uh, our wedding celebration this past weekend. But I think I'm going to keep my facial hair lower just for fun. It's a fresh start. Why not change everything, right? And you know any other guys on this team aside from Danico? And have they reached out to you? Uh, I, I was very close with Chris Milton. I know he just recently signed with the Giants. Him and I were teammates in Indianapolis for three years, and I've uh, kept up, gone on trips in the off season. Uh, so I've really picked his brain a lot, and he had nothing but really positive things to say. So I'm excited to get in the locker room to get to meet everybody, and uh, like I said, just serve. <laughs> 